So, yung pelikula na Retouch, napag-isipan ko siya ng matagal na, na gusto kong gumawa ng kwento tungkol sa mga insecurities ko sa sarili kong buhay. Na lumaki kasi ako na hindi, hindi pa ako confident sa sarili ko. And Retouch is the, the film that I made na mas nagpo-focus ako kung ano ba talaga ang beauty. What is beauty? Is it just physically beauty, beautiful yung isang tao na physically lang? Or maganda ba ang isang tao within herself? Na what is that beauty? So yun po yung pag-isipan ko and I created a script na about a makeup artist na says, may in a relationship, tapos yung relationship niya with her boyfriend, hindi siya okay, parang hindi siya nabibigyan ng time ng boyfriend niya. Tapos, nagiging insecure siya since makeup artist siya, marami siya may na-makeup ng magagandang babae. At, yun yung source ng insecurity niya, na hindi niya na, makikita, na, hindi niya nakikita sa sarili niya kung ano ba talaga ang kagandahan. At, isa po siyang yung film na yun, one long take siya at the very start of the film, just going through the entire room, the studio room, the whole studio room, iniikutan lang siya ng cinematographer, pinapakita yung kwento ng protagonist ko and her boyfriend na photographer, how he communicates with the model that he's talking to, nung paano siya magpo-post dapat, at doon lumalabas yung insecurity niya. So, yun po. Based lang po siya talaga sa sarili kong experience. Kaya ako nagawa yung script ko. And may scene po sa film na sobrang napan- na- napanaginipan ko lang siya. And sinabi ko, gusto ko tong i-add sa script ko. And yung scene siya na after niya matulog, na, uh, natutulog pala siya. Tapos napanaginipan niya na yung model na kinukunan ng picture ng, photo- ng photographer niyang boyfriend. So, dun po, minsan, dun ko po nakukuha minsan yung mga ideas ko. So, mga panaginip ko, kapag may, kapag may napapanaginipan ako, sinusulat ko lang siya, kinikip ko siya sa isang notebook, tapos yun, sulat ko lang po talaga ng mga ideas, at yun din po, yung mga sarili kong experiences na sinusulat ko din po siya. I am insecure with myself na hindi ko nakikita yung self-worth ko. So, ever since I was young, my parents never really complimented me for my achievements or they never really supported me. But that was just within myself. Like, that's how I felt. And then eventually, it made, as I grew older, I realized that those thoughts are just all in my head. That these insecurities are all just in my head. And my parents never really saw me as someone who doesn't have any achievements. They just didn't know how to voice out how how happy they are for what I achieve in my life. Eventually, my parents started to give me letters. Like, they don't say it outright or, or they don't like hug me and say no congratulations or things like that sometimes they write letters and sometimes they'd invite me out for dinner and then they'd rather talk about what i created the film that i created how i was able to create that concept or how i was able to write that story and just conversing with them over dinner that's how i felt that my parents really started to notice my worth as their daughter. So personally, I, I don't really see myself creating experimental films. I'm really inclined into making my own story. Mas gusto kong nagkakwento, nagsusulat ng kwento kaso sa gumagawa ng mga experimental films or documentaries. Uh, personally po talaga, narrative yung mas inclined ako na gawin. So, yung sa script ko po, since it's a narrative and one long take siya, meron akong mga... Nag-start yung script ko na 
at the present na talaga. Hindi ko na siya pinaligoy-ligoy na kailangan magsisimula siya sa very sa history nila. Hindi na nag-start na ako kung ano talagang issue nung protagonist ko, which is her issue with her boyfriend and yung issue niya sa relationship nila at yung insecurity niya as a makeup artist. So yun po yung main problem niya ng ng protagonist ko. And throughout the film, yung reach yung point na marirealize niya yung worth niya. pag niya sa condominium, umupo mo na siya, tapos pinag-iisipan niya kung ano ba talaga yung, ano yung kulang sa kanya. Hanggang sa pumasok siya sa loob ng kwarto at natulog siya, tapos yun na yung point na nagkaroon siya ng panaginip. Yung panaginip na yun, yun yung climax ng film ko na siya, na, siya yung naging model. Para nag-switch sila ng nag-switch sila ng roles. Siya yung naging model, tapos yung model naging siya. At yung boyfriend niya nandun din. May somewhat experimental siya in a way na hindi siya real to real life. Hindi real life ko pinakita. Pinakita ko kung paano mo siya mapapanaginipan. At pagising niya, pumasok na yung boyfriend niya sa loob ng room, umupo dun sa tabi, sa tabi niya at nagtinginan sila. So, ayo, ay, hindi po kasi ako talaga yung type of filmmaker na nagsuspoon feed ng dialogue. Hindi po talaga ako mahilig sa dialogue as a person. And I just wanted my audience to have their own per, their own understanding sa film. So, yung ending ko na nagtinginan sila, I wanted the audience to have their own understanding. Ano yung reason ng pagtinginan nila? Dahil ba naging okay na sila? Or magbe-break ba sila? So, dun ko po in-end yung film ko with that question in mind. There are different elements that I used in creating Retouch. One of the first elements that allowed me to create the film is through the script itself. Second is through my cinematography and the production design as well. The lighting for my for retouch it has a mixture of both yellow and of cool and warm tones. So these two contrast of tones doesn't really match kapag titingnan mo sa isang pag titignan mo siya sa screen, hindi nagmamatch ang cool at saka ang blue sa isang frame. Pero, yung reason behind it, I wanted to show that semiotics ko siya in a way na hindi siya nag-work your relationship the same way na ganun ko ginawa yung flow nung, nung lighting, nung film. And, sa pag-edit ko rin, like, hindi, since one since one long take siya, it was, kailangan talaga ma, ma-rehearse siya ng maigi. It took me hours of rehearsing with my actors in order to perfect the movement of the camera along with the movement of my actors na walang mababangka. Ayan. So everything is just really polished para pagdating na magsushoot na, mga three takes. It took me at least three to four takes. And then, yun na po siya. Probably, if I were to reshoot, retouch again, I would probably focus more dun sa aspect ko na one long, since one long take siya, challenging siyang gawin. Kasi kailangan mo talaga i-rehearse ng maigi yung actors mo, saka yung camera, yung DOP mo, kailangan kasama mo rin siya palagi. And given that time constraint, hindi ko kasi napulido din yung pag-edit ko. So, I think, yun yung isa sa mga challenges na nagawa ko. It was hard for me, kasi namadali ko yung edit. And I wanted to focus more sa pag-edit. And given more time, yun, mapapalido ko na yung pag-edit niya, tapos malalagyan ko na rin siya ng kulay. So, my advice for everyone who wants to create a film, mahirap. Mahirap gumawa ng isang pelikula na long take. Kailangan mo talaga ng patience and kailangan mo talaga ibigay yung time mo na mag-rehearse talaga ng maigi with your actors. Kasi pag, day, pag come na ng shooting day itself at hindi mo sila na-rehearse in advance, madedelay yung shoot mo kasi 
you know, sayang yung oras. So, my advice would be rehearse in advance and make sure na come shooting day, yun, nakausap mo na sila and makapag-run kayo at least once or twice before shoots. And kailangan klaro talaga yung vision mo and yung concept mo and yung script mo to everyone that's part of your crew or part of your team. Kasi hindi lang naman ikaw as a director, hindi man ako as a director lang yung gumagawa ng film ko. I'm also working alongside my cinematographer, my editor, my AD, my production designer. Lahat yan, we're all working as a team. So, importante na i-communicate mo yung message mo sa kanila ng maigi para magawa mo yung pelikula mo in a way na one kayo. Hindi, walang nagkakagulo or walang mga misunderstandings sa idea and vision mo. Uh, Josh, huwag mo kalimutan bukas ha. Kasi, hindi natin na-celebrate last year. Ako na, ako na. Yeah. I'm not asking for anything extravagant naman eh. It's not like magpapapost ka sa akin. Okay, don't worry about it. Tomorrow will be different, and right now we just have to focus on work. Alright? Okay? Uh, sige, unin ako sa loob. Shaki, retouch ka tayo? Okay, two. Jackie, okay, yeah. okay, uh, position yourself to the center, please. Here? Yeah, wait, sorry, a little more to the right. Yeah, perfect, okay? Ay, wait, lang, uh, ano, easy pa lang. Nabayan, easy, okay, yung model, eh. She looks good already, no? Give me a sec. Thank you. Okay, Jackie, uh, angle your face more to the left, please. And we'll go portrait tayo. And look here a bit. There we go. All right. One more. Okay. Uh, how about you give me a little bit more of emotion? Yeah. You, uh, yung parang in love ka. Uh, give me that note. Yeah, yeah, give me that note. Yeah, yeah, one more. That's nice. Keep smiling. Yeah, that's good. Looking good. Okay. How about the look at the desire? <laughs> yeah, the desire. desire. Okay. Or fierce look, na pala. Sorry, fierce look. Okay, fierce look. Yeah. Here, look here, please. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love that, yeah, that's good. I love that. Yeah. Looking great. Keep doing that. Hold it, hold it. Uh, yeah, sick again. Oh. One more, one more. Oh. Later. Wait, let me check this. Uh, okay. Um, center of it. Thank you. There we go. You got it. Look to the right now. Now we see. Yes, now we see. Yes, now we see. Yes, now we
Hello, by the way, you were really good, Kanina. Oh, thank you. Um, so, do you have any plans for it? Ah, uh, na ako kasi. Ah, okay. 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 Oh, my, oh my gosh, it was nice to meet you. Sige, Nice. Ah, sorry, another thing? Um, do you have any plans for tonight? 